Wow, it's crazy to think that six months ago, I thought I was going to become an actual YouTuber. I kind of fell off, man. I mean, yeah, I got caught up in a bunch of school and life stuff, but it's the summer now, so I guess I've got no excuses, right? I got a bit of time on my hands, so I may as well edit that video I recorded way back in March. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to do that for real. What's up, guys? I am Nesu Namo, and today I'll be giving you a tour of my college desk setup. And to celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers, I'll be giving you some bonus footage at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Starting off with the largest component of my desk setup, we've got the standard MIT dorm desk. It's a medium sized golden brown desk which matches the rest of the furniture but otherwise there's not much more to be said about this desk. For the heart and core of my desk, we've got a gaming laptop by HP. This is the late 2019 Omen 15, sporting a 9th generation i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM and an RTX 2070 graphics card. Which basically means I can play games. I mean, submit assignments and edit videos without any issues. I can't stand using a trackpad for design and editing work, so for my mouse I've got the HP Omen Reactor, which is really just a regular mouse that looks kinda cool and fits really well with my hand. It also has multiple RGB modes which are kinda nice if you have a specific color theme that you're going for. For my keyboard we've got the Anpro 2 which I definitely got just because of the hype around mechanical keyboards. The keyboard comes with custom keycaps and the 60% form factor makes it much easier to place directly in front of my monitor and that's much more pleasant to type with. For the actual centerpiece of my desk we've got this HP 24F monitor. Having two displays has been incredibly useful for multitasking and even just completing tasks that are dependent on other screens. I can easily code or run a server in a Linux environment while simultaneously generating assets using Adobe's products on Windows. For accessories, we'll start off with this Red Dragon laptop stand with adjustable height and built-in cooling. The cooling is not all that effective depending on your laptop's ventilation, but I mainly use it to raise my laptop up to the same level as the monitor. Here we have yet another item from the HP Omen line. We've got the Mindframe Prime headset with built-in cooling as well. They're super clunky, I got them during a Black Friday sale, but I do use them occasionally to play video games or edit video. For the speaker, we've got a Bluetooth JBL Flip 5, which does an incredible job at filling the room, and I think that the military green is an incre- <laughs> Military green. The military- Military green is a really nice touch. Mom, Dad, if you're wondering why I'm always broke, it's because I buy useless tech, like this Logitech webcam, but the two main reasons I have this are because HP did not include a great camera in their gaming laptop and also because having a camera in the center above my monitor makes it a lot easier to have meetings directly. Last but certainly not the least, we have this Wacom drawing tablet which was gifted to me by my mentor. Shout out to you Tuka. This has come incredibly clutch for just editing photos and a lot of the design work I've been doing on campus. For cable management, I like to tie most of my cables up with zip ties and in addition to that, I've got this USB hub which allows me to connect all my peripherals with a single cable to my laptop. As a computer science student and someone who loves to watch anime and occasionally play games, having a desk that I really enjoy being at is something that I value and something that ultimately increases my productivity. I've always wanted to make some sort of tech video and had so much fun showing this to you guys so hopefully I have the time and the content to make more and that brings us to the end of my college desk tour if you did enjoy the video do show the subscribe button some love and with that time for the bonus clip hey siri it's dark in here okay done.